This is why I'm so passionate about the thermal environment. This is what we can't see that's occurring to us, and we're well protected. The victim doesn't have that luxury. They're feeling pain at 19 to 109 to 113, and 131 degrees, they're burned just like we are. Their property starts to break down at 200 degrees, producing flammable vapors. And your gear, my gear, is breaking down between 165, your bottle, to upwards of 572 to 600 degrees max. So do you want to push it that far, or would you rather be intelligently aggressive and use the nozzle and cool the environment long before it gets there and make it better for the victim, their life, their property, and you? I'm not asking you not to go into fire. All of us signed up to go in there. But when you go in, make it better and protect those that you swore to do so, right? So let me challenge you with this. How well are we protected are we again? He's just going over to close a window. Look at his shoulders. In just a few seconds, look at his face piece, his mask, his helmet. He's going to get down because look at this. This is straw and pallets. This is not couches. This is not sectionals and wardrobes and massive amounts of heat release rate that we normally face. See the backside of his hood behind his helmet? There was the guy who went open the window. Look at the thermal layer we were taught not to disturb. That Brother Jimmy and I and everybody else understands that if that gets below 50%, that's a broiler that's heating everybody up in the room. It's not good. That's cooking everything in its path, including the victim, the contents, and us. With the high dollar gear that we, we bought to protect us. So, question and answer time. Questions. When was the last time your gear and SCBA was inspected? All three layers and face piece. When was the last time your PPE was washed? Dirty, wet, UV damaged gear. You know what that does now. And have any of you read the instructions on your turnout gear and will you now? And if you don't have a program that includes gear inspection, cleaning, and cancer prevention, it's up to you to implement that. So how many of you have inspected your gear recently?